Coming up, UTRGV Athletics unveils rendering for a $45 million project. Details ahead. Plus, a send-off for the UTRGV chess team. More information in minutes. And how to avoid getting scammed online. KVAQ-TV starts now. Hey Vaqueros, welcome back. This is the 10th spring edition of KVAQ TV. I'm Amada Valdovinos. Today is Monday, April 3rd, and at the top of the newscast. The UTRGV Department of Intercollegiate Athletics unveiled renderings for a 45,000 plus square foot facility with an estimated cost of $45 million. Xavier Aguilar with the details. Behind me is the future location of the Vaqueros Performance Center, located just north of the UTRGV Baseball Stadium. The Paqueros Performance Center will include a new state-of-the-art strength and conditioning facility, an academic success center, a sports medicine facility, a team room, football locker rooms, and office spaces for athletic personnel. The area will hold two practice fields, one with artificial turf, the other with natural grass field, that will be used for both the soccer and football team. Vice President and Director of Athletics Chase Conk comments on the milestones that not only the football program has achieved, but the athletic department. This is transformational for, for our athletics program. Uh, obviously for our football program, giving them uh, a primary home, uh, a place that they will uh, live and work and train, uh, as, as student athletes and, and, and coach and, and mentor as, as a coaching staff. Uh, but this is also to serve our entire athletics department. Conk adds that the Vaqueros Performance Center will house the football program and will rival any Division I FCS program in the country. Head football coach Travis Bush acknowledges recruits' interest in the Vaqueros Performance Center, comparing it to UTSA, Houston, and other training facilities. When they saw those renderings and they saw the facilities, it was a big wow factor for them. Uh, got hit up by a lot of a lot of recruits today too that are excited. I got off this plane and I had hundreds of texts because I don't think people still realize the level of of, of football and the level of you know um, the athletic programs are going to be at, at, at UTRGV. One. Conk adds that funding for this project comes from athletic revenue streams, fundraising, corporate sponsorships, and the Football Founder Society, a group of 34 families and individuals that have committed $1.7 million. Naming opportunities are available for all facilities, including the Vaqueros Performance Center. The Vaqueros Performance Center is expected to be completed for the Vaqueros' first season in 2025, while the practice fields are set for 2024. For KVAQ TV in Edinburgh, Xavier Aguilar. The UTRGV chess team competed at the President's Cup after a send-off by faculty, staff, and students last Tuesday. Jorge Infante with more. The UTRGV community joined to celebrate and wish well to the chess team at the President's Cup, a national tournament where players face three days and three rounds of intense competition. We're not the best team in the country over the last five years has been right here at home at UTRGV. <laughs> The Webster University in St. Louis hosted the best chess players from across the country for the President's Cup on April 1st and 2nd. Head coach Bartek Macheja says Webster University added a bigger challenge. It will be a tough competition also because one of our main rivals, the Webster University, is the one organizing it. So we'll be playing on their campus. We really uh, look forward to a to, to very interesting, very entertaining fight. Team A competed against Webster, St. Louis, and the University of Missouri. The team is comprised of Kamil Dragun, Viktor Gashnik, Juraj Drushka, Irakli Berazne, Dante Bekis, a new player to the team, Gleb Dutton. Dutton, who arrived from Europe in January, says he appreciates UTRGV's warm welcome to the university and the country. Well, here all the, all the people in our team are uh, extremely friendly. So right after I came, they, they helped me to, uh, to get used to this place. So now I feel like I'm uh, like it's my second home. When I came, it was my first time in U.S. So like I'm uh, completely new emotions, new experience. But now I'm actually feeling like I was here for for like I don't know year or more. Juraj Drushka, who has previously been part of the ETRGV chess team, says the team can't wait to show their strength. We've been practicing our whole life, so it's our daily routine to, to train chess. I think we prepped a bit more for this tournament than usually, yes. As of the airing of this broadcast, results are available at utrgvtv.com. For KVAQ in Edinburgh, Jorge Infante. How good are you at spotting a scam on the internet? 
According to fraud and cybersecurity experts from the National Consumers League, everyday scams could become more difficult to discern. Tristan Cortez with the story. That's right, Amada. Scams are evolving at a rapid rate thanks to new technology and avenues that make it easier for scammers to deceive anybody. According to the Insurance Information Institute, Texas reported the second highest amount of identity theft crimes in the U.S. in 2022. During the year, over 38,000 Texans were victims of fraud, including credit card fraud, bank account fraud, and miscellaneous identity theft. The National Consumers League Vice President of Public Policy, Telecommunications, and Fraud, John Breo, says they often hear from victims who are asked to pay with gift cards, Venmo, or cryptocurrency. Right. Those are unusual in normal day to day situations. But because the scammers are creating this urgency and this sense of social isolation, they convince people that they need to do this. And they do. And it's very successful. UTRGV Chief Information Security Officer Kevin Krauss shares how people can avoid getting scammed. If it sounds too good to be true, it is. That's just the way it is. You just don't want to click on links that, 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 that are from people you don't know. If you get a file from somebody or an attachment from somebody you don't know, verify or somebody you do know but weren't expecting verify that that's real never give your credentials or passwords out no company will ever ask you to give out your username and password for any reason if they do hang up according to kraus other ways to protect your information are set up multi-factor authentication for all your accounts keep your antivirus software updated and avoid reusing passwords for different accounts Victims of scams can submit a complaint to the National Consumers League through fraud.org. For questions or concerns regarding student account security, contact the UTRGV Information Security Office at 956-665-7823. For KVAQ-TV in Edinburgh, Tristan Cortez. And that's a wrap for us today. Make sure to watch us Monday through Friday on VCast monitors and on social media. For KVAQ-TV, I'm Amada Balduinos. See you next week.